Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial about Unicenter, the point of sale cash register program, and I'm demonstrating this in Linux Ubuntu. In the prior video, we talked about refunds and the refund icon. And you use refunds in the refund icon when you do not have a receipt. And today I'm going to be talking about when you do have a receipt. This is the refund icon for use when you do not have a receipt to refer to. And today's topic is going to be edit sales. We do not have any sales to edit at the moment because I just turned on Unicenta and you see there's no receipts showing. So I'm going to make a fictitious order right now. And three friends come in and they buy three drinks. And I'm going to bump it up to three. Three french fries and three hamburgers and they pay for it it's twenty one dollars and eleven cents and they have exact change in cash and I have now created this receipt and it is rece receipt number eighty seven and there's the three each now what I want to do is edit the sales because one of the fellows said hey we did not get three french fries we only got two so I go to edit sales and I hit this icon right here and I could type in the ticket number since I know it but I can just search them out by hitting execute and they appear in reverse order and here it is ticket number 87 and I hit OK and there it is. Now I want to give back money for one french fry. Now I can edit the sales but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to be giving a refund a partial refund and when I hit that icon I've got three choices down here and when you hover on them they say hover one item hover a whole line refund the whole receipt okay if I tap this refund it gives back all the money every cent if I tap this line it's going to refund everything on that line all three of them and if I tap this line I can just refund one of the items so I'm going to go to french fries and I'm going to hit one french fry two dollars and sixteen cents let me cancel that and go back and I'll do it again this time I'm going to show you I'll go to french fries and I tap on this one and it refunds all three. Cancel. Do it again. And if I go down here, it refunds everything. You see how it works. Let's go ahead and give this guy back one french fry. The money for it, I mean. And when I hit equal, OK. And if I go to printer now, you will see that this is refund number 11 for one French fry. There are other things you can do, of course, with edit sales. The other one was edit. Let me execute and get this 2111. Let's say I edit the sales. In the case of this, what I am doing here is removing one item. I sold the three drinks and the three fries and when I hit equal, it's okay. Now if I go to the printer I have actually altered receipt number 87 and receipt number 87 shows that I did not sell the three hamburgers and if we go back in history there is the old receipt 87 I've got two receipts that say 87 now this is perplexing and confusing this is not the way you would normally run a business. The other thing you could have done 
is to refund the entire whole amount and then redo the sale. There are different ways of doing a refund. But edit sales is in the main what you would primarily use to give a refund instead of using the refund icon. In fact, to avoid theft by employees, most businesses do not have a refund icon like this and most businesses do not have the ability to edit out an item and reprint an invoice at a smaller figure. Instead, there is a record that is being made that shows every instance that cannot be erased in history. My name is Pop and this is Unicenta and I thank you very much.